You're here for another super fun game of guess what? No, no, no. I don't mean guess what the name of the game is. I mean guess what is the name of the game. It's a game where part of our Bible story gets acted out and you guess what's happening. Today's true Bible story is going to teach us that Jesus loves me no matter what. That's our big idea for the day. Let's say it together. Jesus loves me no matter what. 
It's true, Jesus loves me no matter what. In fact, that's what our memory verse from the Bible tells us. Let me teach it to you. This is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. Let's do it together. This is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. Wow, great job. I think you're ready for today's Bible story. Imagine this. One day your mom walks into your bedroom and see that your clothes and toys are lying all over the floor. Your room is a mess. Your mom says, no more playing until you clean up your room. Has your mom or dad ever said something like that? Mine too. Now, let's imagine this. When your mom leaves, you look at the mess and think, that's way too much to clean up. It's gonna take forever. Then you see your favorite toy and you think to yourself, I'm not gonna clean up my room. I'm gonna play with my toys instead. What kind of choice are you making? Are you choosing to obey your mom? Or are you choosing to do something wrong and disobey your mom? Yep, you're choosing to disobey your mom and that's wrong. We all make wrong choices sometimes. Do you know what the Bible calls people who make wrong choices? They're called sinners. That's a pretty important word. Let's say sinners together. Sinners. A sinner is a person who breaks God's rules by doing something wrong. Today's true Bible story is all about a woman who was a sinner. She broke God's rules and made some really wrong choices. If you're ready to hear that true Bible story, give me two big thumbs up. In the Bible, in the book of Luke, there was a man named Simon. Simon was a Pharisee. A Pharisee was a very important person. I'm gonna act something out. See if you can guess what it is. That's right, I'm eating. Can you pretend to eat with me? One day, Simon invited Jesus to his house to eat dinner with him. Guess what I'm doing now? You got it, I'm listening. Can you pretend to listen with me? There was a woman in town who heard that Jesus was eating at Simon's house. The woman was a sinner. She had broken God's rules and made some really bad choices. Guess what I'm doing now? You're right, I'm running. When the woman heard that Jesus was at Simon's house, she ran to see him. Let's all pretend to run to see Jesus. We're running, we're running, we're running to see Jesus. We're running, we're running, we're running to see Jesus and stop. Guess what I'm doing now? <laughs> Good job, I'm crying. Can you pretend to cry with me? <laughs> when the woman found Jesus, she began crying at his feet. When her tears got all over Jesus' feet, she wiped them off with her own hair. Then she kissed his feet and poured pretty smelling perfume that cost a lot of money. That was her way of showing Jesus how special he was. Guess what I'm doing now? You got it, I'm mad. Can you show me your mad face? Mm. Simon started feeling really mad. He thought to himself, if Jesus is so special, why is he letting this woman touch his feet? She's a sinner. He was offended that Jesus gave her so much attention. Guess what I'm doing now? Good job, I'm thinking. Can you pretend to think with me? Jesus knew what Simon was thinking. So he said, Simon, you didn't wash my feet but she washed my feet with her tears. You didn't give me a kiss, 
but she kissed my feet again and again. You didn't give me any perfume, but she poured perfume all over my feet. Then Jesus turned to the woman and said, I forgive you for all the wrong things you have done. Guess what I'm doing now? That's right, I'm happy. Can you show me your happy face? The woman was so happy, even though she was a sinner who broke God's rules and made bad choices, Jesus still loved her. In our true Bible story for today, there was a woman who was a sinner. She broke God's rules and did things that were wrong, but Jesus still loved her. Have you ever made a choice to do something wrong? What did you do wrong? I've made wrong choices before too. When I was little, my sister would follow me around everywhere and want to play with everything I was playing with. This would make me mad and sometimes I would push her. One time when I was mad, I pushed her and she actually fell down the stairs and got a cut on her face. She had to go to the hospital and get stitches. I felt really terrible after that because I made a choice to do something wrong and that choice got my sister hurt. Do you think Jesus still loved me after I hurt my sister? Absolutely. Jesus didn't want me to push her, but he still loved me when I did. I don't think I'm the only one who's pushed my sister or brother. And you know what? When I made that choice, I sinned. We're all sinners. We all break God's rules and choose to do wrong things. Jesus doesn't want us to make wrong choices, but he loves us when we do. That's because Jesus loves us no matter what. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our friend Topher the Gopher. What do you think he's doing? You're right, Topher is sleeping again. I think we should wake him up. When he wakes up, we can all tell him that Jesus loves me no matter what. On the count of three, let's all yell, Topher, wake up. Ready? One, two, three. Topher, wake up! What do you to do? Jesus loves me no matter what. Oh, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me, kids. Bye. Let's say a prayer together and thank Jesus for loving us, even when we do things that are wrong. Ready? Hands up, hands together, and hands down. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me, even when I do bad things. Please help me to choose to do the right thing instead of the wrong thing. I love you so much, Jesus. Amen. Well, I had a great time learning this Bible story with you guys, and I can't wait to see you again next week.